Some breaking news coming out of this past weekend. The main event of SummerSlam has been signed from Monday Night Raw. It is a fatal four-way matchup for the WWE Championship as Karrion Cross, Bobby Lashley, and John Cena pursue the championship held by the original bro Matt Riddle, who will leave Levi Stadium as the WWE Champion. But as for tonight here on Raw, we're going to decide the number one contender for the women's championship is Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam as well as Asuka, Becky Lynch, and Liv Morgan compete. One fall to a finish in a triple threat main event live tonight on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental it's going to be a great night of action here in the Civic Center in Mobile, Alabama. And we are kicking things off hot with a Money in the Bank rematch for the Intercontinental Championship. The former champion, the invincible Ilya Dragunov was knocked off the top of the food chain back in Columbus, Ohio on the 16th of July by none other than L.A. Knight. We already saw LA Knight successfully in action since then, defeating Rick Boogs last week on Raw. But Dragunov has sat back and prepared for this main event, for this rematch over the last number of weeks. Dragunov held that Intercontinental Championship since WrestleMania Saturday, turned away the lights of Tyler Bate, Shinsuke Nakamura, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods, the list goes on. But Dragunov unfortunately meant his match at Money in the Bank. And we have ourselves a new Intercontinental Champion in LA Knight. But is that championship reign about to come to a short end this evening? Dragunov chomping at the bit to get back the gold he lost just a few weeks ago. And it could be a short run in the sun for the defiant loudmouth known as LA Knight. It's going to be a huge night with SummerSlam implications written all over here at the Civic Center in Alabama. And what bigger way to kick things off than with a main event-like matchup between Ilya Dragunov and LA Knight for the Inner Continental Championship. I want to thank you for joining us here on Monday Night Raw. And of course, SummerSlam is coming your way Sunday night, August the 20th. We'll be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's the biggest party yet. So much happening SummerSlam week, which we'll discuss throughout the evening. But do not miss SummerSlam coming your way from Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California. But before we get to the biggest party of the summer, the Intercontinental Championship kick things off. And here comes the new champion himself, L.A. Knight. You know, you may not like the attitude of L.A. Knight, but you certainly can't knock the results from bell to bell. At the end of the day, L.A. Knight took the fight to one of the toughest SOBs in the Monday Night Raw locker room. And L.A. Knight walked away from Money in the Bank holding the championship gold that Dragunov held so proudly. We mentioned just some of the names that Ilya Dragunov successfully defended that championship against. L.A. Knight now walks into his first championship defense here tonight against a man who was no doubt a tough challenge back at the Money in the Bank live premiere event. Could very well be the first and only defense in LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship reign. So to come tonight on Raw, we're going to decide the number one contender for the Women's Championship at SummerSlam in a triple threat main event for the prestigious Intercontinental Championship. A main event to kick things off here at the Civic Center. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov! And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, LA. The stage is set for your opening contest live from the Mobile Civic Center. Alabama red hot tonight in the midst of this summer attraction on Monday Night Raw. Ilya Dragunov looking to become a two-time Intercontinental Champion against the reigning defending champion who knocked him off the top of the pedestal, L.A. Knight. Big time matchup with big time implications. The winner of this matchup 
will defend the championship from what I've been told at the SummerSlam live premiere event in just a couple of weeks. So here we go, kicking things off high. Dragunov out of the gate, Storm and LA Knight. And you remember, not only did Dragunov lose the Intercontinental Championship to LA Knight, but there was some bad blood going into that matchup as well. As LA Knight really threw down the gauntlet last month on Monday Night Raw with a ambush on Dragunov. That's what started this whole situation over the Intercontinental title. LA Knight and Ilya Dragunov both looking to finish this situation here tonight on Raw. The only one man can leave with that Intercontinental Championship. And LA Knight, you gotta give him credit. The only man to defeat Ilya Dragunov and really a rare loss. Dragunov does not have many L's in his main roster career since debuting last August here on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight, one of the few men that has been able to defeat Dragunov. And quite frankly, Dragunov has been at his best throughout 2023. Defeating Butch at WrestleMania to become the Intercontinental Champion. Went through Shinsuke Nakamura, Apollo Crews, Butch again in a WrestleMania rematch. Tyler Bate, Xavier Woods. Dragunov turned away some of the best of them here on Monday Night Raw. But at the end of the day, LA Knight had the right recipe to keep down Dragunov at Money in the Bank. Ten lightning strike twice tonight. That is the question we are hoping to find an answer to. LA Knight looking hot right now. Alabama, bit of a mixed feeling for the defiant intercontinental champion, but right now he's putting some work on the challenger. Gotta wonder the mindset of Ilya Dragunov tonight. First time he has been a challenger since WrestleMania Saturday. And of course he won that matchup and maybe Ilya Dragunov possibly was just getting a little too comfortable at the top of that mountain on Monday Night Raw. Defeated so many challengers. Maybe LA Knight just caught Dragunov on an off night at Money in the Bank. Maybe fighting from underneath and being the underdog yet again is what Ilya Dragunov needed to light a fire underneath of him. We'll find out if that's what Ilya Dragunov needed to get the tank going here tonight. Or is LA Knight truly just got Ilya Dragunov's number? This matchup spilling to the outside. And you saw how things played out at Money in the Bank. Ilya Dragunov powerbombing LA Knight through the barricade at ringside. Really played into some of that bad blood we were discussing. From the champion and the challenger. A nice counter by Dragunov. Taking champion off his feet. Things are going to get ugly if this continues at ringside. Especially with the motivation behind Ilya Dragunov tonight to get back the championship he lost just a few weeks ago. LA Knight playing chase right now, and of course LA Knight with the champion's advantage tonight does not have to pin or submit Ilya Dragunov to leave Alabama as the Intercontinental Champion. Could easily elect for a count out or somehow he was able to get a disqualification in this matchup. It all remains to be seen. Again, whether you like LA Knight or not, he had what it takes to get the job done at Money in the Bank. He can have what it takes to do it again tonight, but right now Dragunov to make sure that is not going to be the case with the knee off the middle buckle. And a close call for LA Knight. Right, thank you for joining us just a few weeks out from Sunday night, August the 20th. SummerSlam is fastly approaching. Cannot wait to get to Levi Stadium. Later tonight in your main event, we're going to decide who fights Shayna Baszler for the Women's Championship at SummerSlam. And that triple threat matchup between Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, and Asuka. Cannot wait to see who's going to be getting there. Hand raised high later this evening and can't wait to see who's going to be leaving as the Intercontinental Champion. A couple of close calls there for Ilya Dragunov. Not able to get the victory, but certainly doing some damage. Oh, there's a counter by LA Knight, but here comes Dragunov off the springboard. So many different lariat variations in the arsenal of the Invincible One. It is one of the things that makes him so dangerous from bell to bell. And what a high knee, taking the champion off his feet. And that may do it. A knockout blow. And only a one count again. LA Knight is showing his intestinal fortitude tonight, but so is the challenger. More hungry, more motivated than possibly ever is Ilya Dragunov. LA Knight now, counter, wait a minute, got him on the shoulders, burning hammer! A signature maneuver out of the champion's arsenal, and certainly changing the tides in the matchup and falls over the elbow. LA Knight might have just caught Ilya Dragunov, but elects not to go for the pinfall just yet, and I gotta say it's a bit surprising. Well, he was gonna go for the surprise factor there, but looks like LA Knight could be going for that blood force drama, but not just yet. Of course, the move that kept down Dragunov with money in the bank. 
Yeah, slugfest here. These guys are throwing live rounds just as they did a few weeks ago in Columbus, Ohio. Remember, as we mentioned at the top of the world, oh, wait a minute, pinfall here, will that do it? And a close call, a two count there. Ilya Dragunov survives, at least for another moment. As we mentioned, from what we are being told, the winner of this matchup is set to defend the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. The challenger yet to be determined, but whoever wins this matchup with the gold will be under the spotlight of Levi Stadium in just a couple of weeks. Dragunov with a sense of urgency out of that, after that onslaught by LA Knight trying to get back into this matchup. Bringing things to the outside, or at least LA Knight's going out there to catch a breather. What's Dragunov got in mind? LA Knight playing cat and mouse again. And he gets hung up on the top rope. A nice counter by the challenger there, but can he take advantage? A couple of close calls in this matchup already. Dragunov going in a rare position, but he connects. Elbow drop Dragunov, digging deep down in the bag of tricks. And a two count there, but not enough to win the Intercontinental Championship. Dragunov trying to mix up the game plan tonight. Throw LA Knight off his game plan. Surprise him from bell to bell. And that could be the X factor in winning back the Intercontinental Championship. There's a counter by the defiant LA Knight. He's not capitalizing, and that may be a mistake. And there's a lariat. A signature out of the arsenal of the Invincible One. And another close call. How many are we going to get before we just get the three count? LA Knight, a counter but not able to take advantage, took his eye off the ball, and Ilya Dragunov delivering one of the hardest hitting lariats in the business today. LA Knight kicked out, and now a bit of a fire under the champion. This thing's once again spilling to the outskirts of the ring. Well, this fight has made its way numerous times already tonight. Great action to kick us off here from Mobile, Alabama on Monday Night Raw. Full steam ahead on the road to the 2023 SummerSlam. Well, he might look at him put the hurt on the challenger at ringside. He can't get the victory out there, but he can certainly do a level of damage that Dragunov may not be able to come back from. Rushing leg sweeping. Ilya Dragunov not looking so hot. Oh, wait a minute. On the outside, Dragunov on the shoulders, and down he goes with the neck breaker. And the Intercontinental Champion certainly flipping the switch in this contest. Might have saw his championship flash before his eyes after that lariat a few minutes ago, and LA Knight has kicked it into a different gear. Now the champion heading to the top rope, going for a knee of his own, but nobody home. And Dragunov delivers a knee. And that may do it, knockout blow. LA Knight might have got caught, not just yet. Almost getting caught off the misstep was the Intercontinental Champion, but Ilya Dragunov unfortunately gonna have to keep swinging for the fences in this match. Incredible contest just as it was at Money in the Bank a few weeks ago, picking up right where we left off in Columbus, Ohio. This bad blood over the last month between Dragunov and Knight looking to be settled as there's a counter by LA Knight. He's got Dragunov on his shoulders, air raid crash, and down goes the challenger into the cover. And LA Knight got him. LA Knight got the victory. Well, Dragunov, your soul is starting to build some steam yet again. But just the right counter at the right time with the right delivery spells the end of Dragunov's hopes to winning back the Intercontinental Championship tonight on Raw. Here is your winner. Well, Ilya Dragunov, nothing to be ashamed of, will certainly live to fight another day, but as for LA Knight, he is... We're back live here in Mobile, Alabama. The Civic Center is already rocking for Monday Night Raw. And still so much more to come, including this collision between Mad Cat Moss and a dangerous 
Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, who's fired up looking for victory. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. The last time we saw Tommaso Ciampa a number of weeks ago, he was a participant in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match that was, of course, won by the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. But Tommaso Ciampa's got some unfinished business on his hands. He was called out a few weeks ago on Twitter by the street champ, Solo Sokoa. You remember back way before Money in the Bank, Tommaso Ciampa defeating Solo Sokoa here on Monday Night Raw in a Money in the Bank qualifier. And after the matchup, Solo Sokoa a bit infuriated, chasing Tommaso Ciampa out of the ring, ambushed a referee. Solo Sokoa has not forgotten about Ciampa. Champa is really not focused on the situation as of late. He was in a Money in the Bank, as we mentioned. Now Champa's back in action for the first time. Hopefully after this matchup, we can get a word with Champ on what his mindset is regarding the whole Souls to Koa situation. But at the end of the day, Champ, ever since this bell rang a few moments ago, fired up and as we mentioned, looking for a victory tonight. Ed Cap Moss really drawing the unlucky card, if you ask me. Gotta give credit where it's due to Man Cap as well. Oh, wait a minute, Champa going for the victory. Almost had him off the two count, not just yet. As I was about to say, you gotta give some credit to Madcap Moss. A few weeks ago at WWE Live, Madcap took on Carmelo Hayes. Of course, Carmelo a little bit to the limit on that night. Unfortunately, came up short, but let's see if this is the opportunity that Moss is gonna be able to capitalize on here on Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa, you see Madcap very intimidated and hesitating to get back into the ring. It's Tommaso Ciampa going full steam ahead tonight, looking to build some momentum for himself on Raw. It's really been something we've discussed with Ciampa over the last few months, ever since him and Johnny Gargano lost the World Tag Team titles at WrestleMania and then were split up in the draft. Both men individually on Raw and SmackDown have been struggling to find some momentum. However, Ciampa and Gargano as well finally starting to put the pieces together for the last month and change in their respective brands. As for Tommaso Ciampa looking to keep that momentum going tonight and get back in the win column after being unable to pull down the briefcase a few weeks ago. Man, Cat Moss is feeling the punishment right now. There's a reversal, but not so fast. Tommaso Ciampa making a statement tonight in the Civic Center. Man, Cat better start swinging because he is not looking too hot. As he is he eating lefts, eating rights, eating knees and kicks by the black card of the WWE. Tommaso Ciampa has really got focused as of late. Has focused on the action from bell to bell. It has resulted in victories. And will it do the same tonight or is Madcap about to pull up a huge upset here in the Civic Center? Definitely has all the tools to be a success. Look at the strength out of Moss. And down goes Ciampa into the cover. And only a one count there. Close call. Champo was almost knocked off by Madcap here tonight in the Civic Center. Our crowd tonight in Mobile, Alabama. We are just a few weeks away from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. And of course, it's all a part of the biggest party yet. SummerSlam week. It'll be a week full of live premieres. Monday Night Raw from Las Vegas on the 14th. SmackDown from Sacramento on the 18th. Of course, the Cruiserweight Classic kicking off live at 3 p.m. Eastern time, August the 19th, and then all roads lead to SummerSlam, Sunday night, August the 20th. It'll be an awesome week next month. Meanwhile, Tommaso Ciampa, look at the strength, down goes Moss, off the double knees. Into the cover, will that do it? And a close call there, but Tommaso Ciampa unable to secure the victory so far. Moss might have kicked out, but was he just delaying the inevitable? Tommaso Ciampa laser focused and has been in control for about 90% of this matchup. But not gonna let that kick out get to his mind and to keep inflicting punishment. And now Ciampa, I think we know what comes next. Fairy tale ending. And it looks academic in my eyes. Tommaso Ciampa secures the victory here tonight at the Civic Center. Thanks for coming, man, Cap Moss. You put up a hell of an effort, but at the end of the day, there is your winner, and you gotta wonder what is gonna be next for Tommaso. Oh, wait a minute. Sol Sakoa in the ring, and he's got a kendo stick in hand. 
Solo has not forgotten about the man who took away his money in the bank opportunity. Well, message sent by the street champ Solo Sokoa. He is coming for the black car. And tonight, very well, just it may be the beginning of these issues between Solo and Champa. The biggest party of the summer comes your way Sunday night, August the 20th, live from Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California. It's the 2023 Summer Slam, and so much already signed for that massive event, including the No Holds Barred Grudge Match between the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. There's some bad blood brewing between those two superstars. What about this matchup sign from Friday Night SmackDown? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looking to repeat his matchup with Gunther, this time with victory on his side with the United States Championship at stake. The SmackDown main event coming your way. The 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, looks to contest the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. In the matchup that we discussed earlier this evening, the massive fatal four-way between Karrion Cross, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and the original bro Matt Riddle, four Monday Night Raw All-Stars enter, but who will leave as the WWE Champion? This is the biggest party yet, and SummerSlam week kicks off August 14th in Las Vegas for Raw, August the 18th in Sacramento for SmackDown, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic from Hammerstein, August the 19th at 3 p.m., and then SummerSlam following suit 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the 20th of August. A week of live premieres coming your way next month, but the action set to continue here on Monday Night Raw as we have the Raw debut tonight of Ashante the Adonis. Top Dollar and B-Fab Hit Row is in action. Pretty hot commodity coming out of NXT, at least some say. Calls himself Top Dollar. I would go Bottom Dollar, but that is remains to be seen. We'll see what happens from bell to bell tonight. But if you want my personal opinion, I'm not liking Hit Row's debut chances because standing across for them tonight are the world tag team champions, Finn Balor. Damian Priest and misses Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley. And their opponents, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. Well, we have already discussed it in recent weeks, but the Judgment Day are really getting close to the takeover of Monday Night Raw that they have been on the search for. Damian Priest and Finn Balor winning those World Tag Team Championships back in June at King of the Ring. Already a successful title defense under their belt against the Street Profits a number of weeks ago. And as for the woman in the middle, Rhea Ripley, of course your current women's money in the bank briefcase holder, a guaranteed future opportunity at the championship for the Nightmare. The Judgment Day already looking draped in gold. Some more could be coming their way. But Balor and Priest back in action tonight. And of course, the last time we saw them in the Raw ring two weeks ago in a losing effort and a big six-man tag alongside Karrion Cross. Those three men falling to John Cena, Bobby Lashley, and the WWE Champion Matt Riddle. So Balor and Priest back inside the squared circle tonight. Rhea Ripley by her their side. And the Judgment Day... We're gonna seek some new prey here on Monday Night Raw. And Hit Row drawing the unlucky card. We get things set with this big time tag team matchup. At the end of the day, personal feelings aside, try to be unbiased here. You gotta look at Top Dollar and Ashante the Adonis with a huge opportunity on their hands tonight. They can get the victory over the World Tag Team Champions. Well, it's gotta put them in line as the number one contenders for a shot at the gold. Of course, this is Finn Balor and Damian Priest we're discussing here, whether they're coming off a loss or not. The World Tag Team Champions of WWE for a reason. They are the Judgment Day. They've been taking over Monday Night Raw for months with very few losses on their record in recent months. At the end of the day, although Top Doll and Ashanti the Adonis may have some unexpected tricks that Balor and Priest are not seizing on tonight, this is the Judgment Day we are talking about. We'll see what happens by the end of this matchup. 
Abdallah, of course, with the size advantage here. It's the first time we're getting a look at him, as well as Ashante the Adonis here on Monday Night Raw. Abdallah looking good so far against the Prince of WWE. And the big man dropping that senton. Down goes Finn. Now the tag made to the cruiserweight of the team, Ashante the Adonis. Abdallah just trying to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring. A little shaken up here. Could be a huge opportunity, as we mentioned, for Hit Row, especially if Balor and Priest underestimate the debuting team tonight. All remains to be seen. We'll find out the victors in due time. It's still to come tonight in your main event. Coming up in moments is a triple threat. One fall to a finish matchup as Liv Morgan takes on the man, Becky Lynch, as well as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Triple threat. The winner is going to fight. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler from SmackDown for the WWE Women's Championship of the World at SummerSlam, August the 20th in Levi Stadium. It's a high-stakes main event. It's been a great night of action here at the Civic Center in Mobile, Alabama. Already tonight, LA Knight retaining his Intercontinental Championship. And we now know that LA Knight will defend that Intercontinental title at SummerSlam. The challenger still yet to be determined. But SummerSlam shaping up to be a monstrous night in Levi Stadium on the 20th of August. Damian Priest getting tagged in, doing some work over Ashante. And here comes the Prince back into the fold. Of course, Rhea Ripley misses money in the bank at ringside. Although she took down that briefcase a few weeks ago in Columbus, Ohio. She's coming off a loss herself just last week to the man, Becky Lynch. I'm sure Rhea Ripley has got her eyes on that main event. Three challengers for the Women's Championship. Only one of them is going to fight Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. And of course, Rhea Ripley can cash in that briefcase anytime, any place. It could very well be at Levi Stadium. Remember what happened last year? Asuka herself cashed in the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase at SummerSlam and became champion. Could Rhea Ripley be having that same fate in just a number of weeks? Remains to be seen. Close call there. Judgment Day almost had the victory over the debuting hit row. Even though they didn't get the victory, the punishment going to continue. Ashante the Adonis feeling the wrath right now. Priest once again off the springboard. And the Judgment Day are really putting on a showcase in this matchup. This has been a beat, been a beat down for the majority of this contest. And we are talking about the Judgment Day here, so we really be surprised. Gotta wonder who is going to be next in line for Priest and Balor. Of course, Hit Row, as we mentioned, if they can get the victory tonight, certainly going to be in line for a tag team championship opportunity. But when you look at the rest of the Raw and SmackDown rosters, I don't wonder who's heating up. Look at who's heating up as of late and who's going to step up for the World Tag Team titles. Let's get the Viking Raiders picking up a victory in a great matchup against Dominic and Rey Mysterio this past Friday night on SmackDown. Eric and Ivar been chomping at the bit for another tag team title opportunity. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC, yet to be defeated since their SmackDown return. Let's not look past Hit Row tonight. All jokes aside, Top Dollar sending Finn Balor for an amusement park ride right there. But unfortunately, quick distraction by Damian Priest, and Top is now at the bottom of this matchup. And Balor looking to make an example on behalf of Hit Row, and a missile drop kick sending Top Dollar for a ride into the corner, into the cover. And he almost had him there if it weren't for the numbers game of a tag team match. Look at some of the teams from Monday Night Raw as well. We're talking about some exciting teams on Friday Night SmackDown. But what about the team that has had their issues in recent months with the Judgment Day? Butch and Ridge Holland, the brawling brutes. The two men that the Judgment Day defeated to become number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championship. Could Butch and Ridge Holland be Looking at an opportunity to get back at Balor and Priest once and for all and take away the tag team titles. All remains to be seen in due time. I am sure Balor and Priest going to want to make their way into that big SummerSlam card. And I don't think Hit Row are going to be joining them. Balor into the cover. Great strength by the Prince and Ashanta the Adonis breaking things up, but he may have just been delaying the inevitable there. Balor not interested in putting on any pizzazz goes for the cover and he gets the victory the judgment day making an example out of hit row tonight on monday night raw step up or step aside because the world tag team champions are taking monday night raw by storm and i don't know who is going to keep down the archer of infamy damian priest and the prince finn balor here are your winners damian priest 
Well, big time victory tonight for the World Tag Team Champions here on Monday Night Raw as the road to SummerSlam continues in your main event coming up next. In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. Coming your way next week on Raw, we decide the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship as the undefeated Carmelo Hayes takes on Cedric Alexander, who will meet LA Knight at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. We find out next week and also coming your way in seven nights on Raw. It is a tag team grudge match as Mr. Money in the Bank Seth Freakin' Rollins teams with the street champ Sol Sokoa to take on the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa and his tag team partner, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. A massive grudge match coming your way next week here on Monday Night Raw. But it is main event time from the Civic Center in Mobile, Alabama, who is going to SummerSlam. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making our way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Well, if there's got to be anybody more motivated in this match to pick up the victory, you got to look at Liv Morgan as the one who fits that suit. The woman who lost the women's championship to Shayna Baszler back at King of the Ring and unfortunately lost in her rematch at Money in the Bank as well. Could three peats, or I should say, could the third match be what Liv Morgan is searching for? A 3 P with Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam could be the kryptonite. Liv Morgan could have her opportunity to finally get her payback as well as her championship against the Queen of Spades. Or will it be the woman who's been knocking on the championship door for months here on Raw? And her opponents, first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Well, Becky Lynch back at WrestleMania had an opportunity to become yeah. women's champion. She failed on the grandest stage. It sent Becky Lynch for a roller coaster ride of emotions for months, but in recent weeks, Becky has really started to find her stride again. She may have come up short, but she of course did qualify and participate in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And of course owns recent victories over the Raw newcomer Tiffany Stratton and just seven nights ago, a victory over Mrs. Money in the Bank herself, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. But Becky has, of course, had her issues with the Empress of Tomorrow. Still feels there's unfinished business from WrestleMania earlier this year. Stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Asuka two weeks ago. And then Asuka returned the favor, staring down the man after a victory last week on Raw. So those issues going to boil over into this triple threat match. And it could be the perfect opportunity for Liv Morgan to take advantage of the situation. All remains to be seen, but here comes one of the most dominant women in WWE history and the woman who made her return after a Santa Baszler success at Money in the Bank, Asuka. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Well, Asuka is in a very interesting situation because she has got some bad blood with not only Liv Morgan, not only Becky Lynch, but with the champion Shayna Baszler herself. Asuka was, was, of course, excuse me, knocked off the mountain back in May by Liv Morgan at Vengeance for the Women's Championship, which sent Asuka away. We didn't see the Empress for nearly two months until she reemerged at Money in the Bank and stood face to face with Shayna Baszler, which Baszler did not like did not take kindly to. Thought it was disrespectful for Asuka to make a return after a Shayna Baszler success inside of that ring. A Pier 6 brawl broke out in the nationwide arena between Asuka and Shayna Baszler on that night. And of course, we just recapped the 
history between Asuka and Becky Lynch as well. Empress of tomorrow, not one making friends here on the red brand, but I don't think Asuka would want it any other way. She wants her championship back, but she's got to try to go through Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan first, which is not going to be an easy opportunity. Well, here we go. Monday Night Raw main event. It's been a great night of action here in the Civic Center, but who is going to SummerSlam? The bell has sounded that we are underway, and Becky and Asuka immediately off the bell, not wasting any time going after each other. Becky Lynch wants that victory over Asuka, wants to prove that she is better than the Empress almost as much, or if not just as much as she wants to be the women's champion yet again. A little double team on Asuka there, which might be the best case scenario for Becky and Liv, but a little short leg tandem right there. Asuka down and out. Defeated Tiffany Stratton two weeks ago on Raw, and then we mentioned that stare down with the man last week. Liv Morgan's coming to this match, definitely the most well-rested. First time back in the ring since she lost to Shayna Baszler at Money in the Bank. Gotta wonder what Liv Morgan's mindset is after she tapped out for a third time to the Queen of Spades in just a matter of a month here in WWE. Liv Morgan, as we mentioned, could the third time be a charm if she can get another match with Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Quite possibly could turn out to be one of the rivalries of the summer and could end on a high note if Liv Morgan could get the job done at the biggest party of the summer. But first, she's gotta get through Asuka and Becky but she might just be caught between a rock and a hard place tonight. Becky and Asuka have just been all over each other since the opening bell. Liv Morgan is really the X Factor in this triple threat right now. Coming up from behind, and this is where Liv Morgan's gonna take advantage. Asuka and Becky so focused on destroying each other, settling their issues, that Liv Morgan, I feel, is gonna have a lot of opportunities like that to sneak up from behind and take one, if not both of the women, off of their game. Into the cover, but unfortunately, Asuka getting her wits about her. Empress of Tomorrow coming back to WWE looking more dangerous than ever. Disappeared after that loss to Liv Morgan at Vengeance in May and came back at Money in the Bank more intimidating than we've ever seen her before. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch in the ring. Triple threat rules, no disqualifications, trying to introduce that steel chair. Asuka having none of it. And Asuka starting to rule the ring in the early going. Hip attack on Liv Morgan. With Becky Lynch now coming from behind and could be going for the disarmor. Could be going to tap out one of the submission specialists of the red brand. Things breaking down here in the triple threat matchup. Liv was out of the equation at least for a moment, but Asuka not gonna tap out, not gonna give up the opportunity just yet. I'm sure the Empress of tomorrow has thought about this moment every single day since he lost the title and the manhandle slam. Becky could be going to SummerSlam. Not just yet as Liv Morgan kicks out, but how close was that? Becky Lynch was one second away from taking on Shayna Baszler and Levi Stadium. Oh, and Asuka getting sent off the apron. Becky Lynch is fired up. She came back to WWE after almost a year on the shelf. Full had esteem, won an Elimination Chamber match back in January and failed at her opportunity to become champion of WrestleMania. Becky has fought hard to get in this number one contender spot again, but can she seize the moment tonight? Becky to the outside, Asuka and Liv Morgan left inside of the ring. So much history between these two women. Liv down and out, that steel chair still precariously inside the squared circle. And I wonder if that is gonna play a factor to the result of this matchup. A nice belly to belly suplex and the arms crossed. Should say the arms trapped. Live down and out. And Becky Lynch. Neck breaker on Asuka. She might have caught some of the chair as well, at least on the lower body. This matchup very well come down to a test of endurance. Either that or it's gonna be who's gonna sneak away with a three count. Or the other third party opponent has their back turned. Triple threat match is so difficult to pick up victories in. I mean, we saw it at Money in the Bank as well for the World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. Drew McIntyre winning an absolute war with Edge and Randy Orton to retain his world title. Triple threat matches, quite possibly one of the hardest matches to obtain victory. But if you want it bad enough, you could certainly succeed. And these three women want it more than anything with the number one contendership on the line here at the Civic Center tonight. A toe hold by Becky Lynch going for an STF on Liv Morgan, but Asuka's right there to make sure Liv wasn't going to tap out just yet. Asuka coming from behind, and down goes Becky. 
Into the cover to steal the victory here. No Liv Morgan in sight. And a kick out. That's what you got to do in triple threat matches. Trying to take advantage while the opponent, or should say the other opponent, is on the outskirts of the ring. Make it a one-on-one -on -one match. Liv already back to her feet. And Becky Lynch trapped in the corner. Double knees by the Empress of Tomorrow. High stakes, high reward main event, but who's going to capitalize? Liv with the Enziguri. Liv taking advantage of an opportunity into the cover. And Becky breaking things up. Man, if Liv would have got that a, a second sooner, she might have caught her. And unfortunately, Becky Lynch got back to her feet and not able to get the victory was Liv Morgan. And down goes Morgan again. Oh, wait a minute, Asuka, backslide. Gonna win this one here, and Becky with the kick out. Liv Morgan out of the equation, at least for a moment. Oh, Asuka with a kick to the gut. The Empress with the hip attack on the man. Liv Morgan, she's gotta get in there. She's too late. Asuka's going to SummerSlam. The Empress of Tomorrow. Divide and conquer. Live out of the equation. Becky caught with the hip attack. And we have crowned the queen of the number one contendership. Asuka gets Baszler at the biggest party of the summer. Here is your winner. Well, you want to talk about a championship level fight. Asuka, Shayna Baszler, those two women are going to meet. Queen of Spades versus the Empress of Tomorrow. Sunday night, August the 20th, the WWE Women's Championship is going to be on the line. Shayna Baszler defends against Asuka. What a matchup here tonight on Monday night. Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.